so in today's video we'll be talking about channel length modulation and the short channel effect as we say so let me first draw the n mosfet so the n mosfet looks like this is the gate terminal this is the drain terminal this is the source terminal and this part is the bulk terminal and essentially the bulk is more or less connected to the source so if you want to have an idea that why this part this arrow is pointing inside so essentially in the device physics level say this is the source and this is the drain and this is the gate gate source drain and this is the p substrate so this is the b terminal or the back gate whatever you say so essentially in this region it is it acts like a reverse biased diode so the diode is essentially like this so it is pointing inside so that is why this is arrow is also pointing inside that is towards the gate so this is why the arrow is inside and the current flows like this id and this part is vgs okay now for a long channel mosfet uh, now let me first say what is the meaning of a long channel mosfet the, in a long channel mosfet here is the n plus and n plus the source and drain are very much apart that this l is large say suppose 10 micron but what happens is uh, there is a depletion region around this uh, let me show you there is a depletion region around this and this depletion region shortens the channel length but in a in case of a long channel mosfet uh, this this part is very much negligible in considerable to this length okay so we can neglect this part but in case of short channel mosfet a uh, phenomenon known as channel length modulation comes into picture because of this uh, depletion regions so we will look into that uh, a little later uh, first let us write the various equations that are related with the long channel mosfet so the id is the drain current is equal to 0 for vgs less than v vt that is the threshold voltage of the nmos now actually vgs when vgs is less than vt the nmos is actually off so now as it goes slightly greater than vt it goes into the linear region in the linear region the equation is un c ox w by l vgs minus vt into vds drain to source voltage minus vds square by 2 and when is when is this valid when vgs is greater than vt and vds the drain to source voltage is less than equal to vgs1 minus vt i'm sorry vgs minus vt and this one is essentially the overdrive voltage now the saturation one in the saturation region after it crosses vgs minus vt in the saturation region it is mu n c ox w by 2 l vgs minus vt whole square when vgs is greater than vt and vds is also greater than vgs minus vt now this equation here is a very oversimplified equation but actually there is a phenomenon known as channel length modulation but it is not effect here because we are considering long channel mosfets for long channel mosfet all these three equations are very much valid now let's see the effect known as the short channel now first why are we using a short channel now look short channel is very much uh, as the device is device technology is improving we need higher speed we need less power and uh, which is the most important thing that is we need uh, smaller size transistors so if this length is small that is the chip area also reduces so we can instill more number of transistors in a small particular area and so the chip density is also increasing and 
so if essential and more over the speed of the electrons also increasing i mean if this length is small the time taken by the electron to go from here to here would be considerably smaller and moreover uh, if you see the transit frequency that is omega t you will see that it is uh, very much dependent like 1 by l square so uh, uh, so in the 1 by l square case so you you will see that if l is very much small uh, then omega t will be very much large and as omega t large which means the speed is large transit frequency is gives just a uh, measure of speed only so i hope you know that why we need short channel mosfet uh, as we see suppose it is a very short area like this this l is very small now if there is a depletion region so if there is a depletion region so in this case we see that it drastically reduces the channel length considering this in the previous case the channel length was like this l and it was reducing this much so it didn't have any effect and we could neglect it but in this case it is not so it is drastically reducing the channel length so let me give you let me go into a further let me just exaggerate the picture and zoom in so that for better understanding uh, this is a, essentially a short channel only i'm just zooming so that it is better to explain so these are the this is the source terminal this is the drain terminal and this is the gate terminal and this is the p substrate and this is the bulk now let's say the source is grounded and the bulk is also grounded now we see that if we apply a voltage vd here there will be a certain depletion region in this part but the depletion region will be far drastical drastic in the drain side because vd is in a higher voltage and this is n and this is p so essentially it is a diode like this and this part is at higher potential this part is at lower potential so actually it is a reverse bias diode and this p region is lightly doped and the n region is highly doped so the depletion region would be more in the substrate than in the uh, drain so essentially let's say the depletion region is like this and inside it is very less because inside the doping is much higher so as doping is much higher the depletion layer is very much small so we see that uh, it drastically reduces the uh, length the channel length so if we further increase vd so this also increases further like this only and inside also it increases but inside we are neglecting that part so let's say the channel length is getting reduced so at first it was l at first it was l now due to the depletion region it is getting reduced by delta l so essentially the equations will change that is first of all the since the list since the length is decreased so lesser gate voltage is required to invert the channel because essentially the pure part of the channel is already created by the uh, n plus regions only so it will require lesser voltage to invert the channel as the channel length is small so the vt threshold voltage will decrease and again the l will also decrease so let us take these two parameters into account and more or less this is just, this just gives a intuitive picture this is not the actual picture in the device physics level there are many things like the uh, energy band diagrams and all but i am just give, trying to give you an intuitive picture about this actual level there is many things happening but for our understanding uh, at this moment uh, this much knowledge is enough uh, for the channel length modulation so so we know that id is equal to mu n c ox w by l vgs minus vt whole square this is for long channel 
okay now let us take this part into account so it is mu n c ox w y now it is l minus delta l vgs minus vt whole square so v now mu n c ox w by taking l common l 1 minus delta l by l into vgs minus vt whole square whole square so this can be written as mu n c ox w by l vgs minus vt whole square and applying binomial this will become 1 plus delta l by l now this part here is dependent on proportional to vds because uh, as vds increases vd increase implies vds is also increasing so this reverse bias will further increase so as it further increases it reduces the channel length so it will be uh, directly proportional to vds uh, so we write it uh, so we write it as lambda vds so the equation finally becomes mu n c ox w by l vgs minus vt whole square to 1 plus lambda vds so lambda is known as the channel length modulation parameter okay now let's look the look at the effect of this channel length modulation in the plots in the iv plots that is the id versus vds plot with vgs as parameter now look uh, it will not affect uh, get affected in the linear region because in linear region vds is small so as vds is small it will not be able to generate that much considerable amount of uh, depletion region such that it will be affecting the channel length so it will be as it will be more used more more affected in the saturation region so let me first draw the axis this one is id and this one is vds i am taking for a particular vgs only so let's say this is for this is for no channel length modulation so now due to 1 plus lambda vds there is a linear relation between vds so there will be a slight slope so at this point it will start sloping and this slope is essentially the slope is equal to lambda thanks for watching the video and do subscribe